Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Jade, and this is How to Happen iOS. And today, finally, we're taking a look at the collaboration of Heinbach and Audio Things. Gong. And it's crazy sick. And we got a featured artist for the day who happens to be the king of gongs, Robbie Stingle. Let's get into it, shall we? Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Jade. I hope you're all doing well. Where's my little Monica down there? This is How to Happen iOS. And yes, today is finally the day we're going to take a look at Gong Amp. Now, you're probably a little bit like shocked going, hang on a minute. I thought we we're looking at something else today. Well, we were, and I changed things up a little bit, reshuffled the shows. We were supposed to be looking at the Mooga Fuga. Say that fast. Mooga Fuga apps today. But we're looking at them tomorrow, so don't, don't panic. I just wanted to spend a little bit more time with them. Make sure we do something really cool tomorrow. So that is happening tomorrow, yeah? And we're going to have a little bit of a longer show tomorrow. Very excited that Moog have released their apps. But let's talk about that tomorrow. Let's say hello to you all first. Of course, we must welcome our Wart Warriors. If you are a Wart Warrior, thank you so very much. 114 members. 114 members. You guys rock. Thank you so, so much for being Wart Warriors. You too can become one for a dollar a month down below. And let me announce right now, it's happening. Yes, it is happening. So are you excited? The quiz is back. The quiz is happening. Let's get this out the way now. The quiz is happening for everybody on the 27th of August. It will be hosted by none other than myself and Brad Example. So the quiz details will go up sometime today if you are a member. So check the members section of the channel and all the details will be there. How to get involved in the quiz, what you need to download to be involved in the quiz. And um, yeah, the quiz is back. So good stuff there. Uh, make sure you jog it down and, and it'll be running two hours before the rant. So it'll be happening two hours before the rant. It'll be a private show. Only members can see it. So it's completely private, um, unlisted show, and only members will get notifications about it as well. And well, I hope so, Jim. I hope so because I have sent Brad his very own special Brad Example t-shirt. So it's in the mail at the moment. So I'm hoping that he'll get it by the time we do the quiz here on the channel. And the quiz this month is alternative punk metal rock from the 80s, uh, 70s, uh, mid 70s to the 90s. That is what the quiz is this month. So, but it's not going to be too crazy hard, so don't panic. Um, let's say hello to you all. Hello, Robbie Stingle, the king of gongs. Hello, Thomas Christ, the amazing moderator. Jim Shannon, what's going on? Hello, Mike Olson, what's going on, my friend? Yes, the gong father is here. And I see <laughs> Kim's just messaged me. Fuck yeah, the quiz. <laughs> I'm going to win, she just wrote. <laughs> yes, we've got Robbie Stingle emojis in the chat today. So if you are a member. Throw your Robbie Stingle emojis at me right now. Throw them at me. Hit me in the head with them. It all is good fun. Hello, Greg O'Sullivan, FPC, Fat Panda Cat. Um, <laughs> Kim must be lurking for sure. Who else do I see in my magic mirror today? Uh, let me scroll around. I think Joe Glenn. Hello, Joe's out walking. She's just a walking the dog. Yeah. Um, <laughs> have I got nearly everybody? I think I have. <laughs> if you are lurking in the background, lurk away. There's no need to have to type. There's no pressure here. Yeah. There he is. There's the Brad example. Brad will be hosting the uh, quiz with me on the 20, did I say the 27th? 27th. Yeah. 27th of August. It is a Sunday, two hours before the rant. And uh, yeah, it should be fun. 
All righty. Uh, where I'm lost. Where are we? What is happening? What is going on? We're doing this fantastic app today. Uh, so, yeah, let's dive in. I have a, a, a short history on what this is about because you may have seen Gong and you're thinking Gong, you know what a Gong is, but this is a little bit different. This isn't actually a Gong. This is something completely unique. Um, so before we do so, let's jump over to any updates we need to look at for the day over to the beatcommunity.com. The beatcommunity.com will update you with everything that's new across desktop, iOS, Mac, samples and expansions. Save it to your favorites. Check it every day. I'm on the iOS software section here. OSC have released a pocket oscilloscope. Um, gospel musicians have released Blue Beast Yamaha EX5, and I have this, and it is sick. It is sick. And I'm being absolutely skull by Brad. Thank you, Brad, for skull me. Um, but yes, gospel musicians have released the Blue Beast Yamaha EX5. I have it. I have the standalone version. I also have the pure synth version. And yes, we'll be looking at it next week. Sorry, guys, you're going to have to hang on. But for those Patreons, I have a bunch of codes to give away for you as well. Too. Oh no, Jim's skull f me as well. <laughs> All right, uh, any price drops we need to take a look at? We've got a chord bud and arp bud by Chemol K. All of these session band apps are currently on sale for $2.99, and there's so many of them session band rock, jazz, piano, EDM, acoustic guitars, jazz, funk, original jazz, fusion, acoustic guitar, blues, jazz, jazz. Soul Jazz Funk Drums. I have all of these apps. I've only ever done one show on those apps, but they're all pretty much the same. I think soon we're going to have to do a, a bit of a show on all of them so you can have a look at some of the sounds in them because they're really handy for making uh, backing tracks and stuff like that. Super, super fantastic for backing tracks um, and really easy to export them and stuff. So you've got a ukulele one here, Jazz, Jazz Funk, Deep House, Country, all the genres you can think of. Synthmaster 1 is on sale. Bleece Sample Wiz, Cubasis 2 and 3 are on sale. And a whole bunch of Bleece apps as well. Yeah. Hello, Andy. What is happening? I saw you. I think I saw you perform on Gmail's show on the weekend. Sounded really good, my friend. Well done. Let me click the right thing. There you are. There's Andy. Hello, Leela. Welcome to the show. Princess Leela. Good to see you. Great job getting through your stream without iPad sound. It's always a struggle. Okay, here we are. We're at Gong Amp. This is Gong Amp. This is a, a collaboration between Heinbach and Audio Thing. Now, for the last three years, I have been desperate for this to come. In fact, all of Heinbach's app. Oh, no, I'm being skull again. <laughs> you crazy kids and your skull Um. Notice I'm censoring myself these days. <laughs> you know, the YouTube algorithm and me getting banned and stuff. Got to be good. Hello, Tremor Bear. So I've been waiting for all the Heinbach and Audio Thing apps to come out in iOS for the longest time. And nearly all of them are out now. And it's so good. I possess all of them and it's very exciting. And this one is no different because it's, it's not a gong. It's a little bit deeper than a gong. And let's uh, bounce. So it's $9.99. It's currently on sale, so you've got until August 25th, until it goes up to $15.99 US. Remember that. All the prices I give you of apps every day are in US prices because it's the US, you know, which means it's $100 in Canada and Australia. But here it is. Now, let me give you a little bit of a, a walkthrough about what this thing is, yeah? Oh, there's more skull f going on. <laughs> All right, let me give you a, a little bit of, so over here, this is Gong App. You can also, Gong Amp, you can get this on PC and Mac. So if you're feeling left out, don't worry. We don't discriminate here on how to hap on iOS. Always try and give you the prices of stuff if they're available on PC and Mac as well, because, you know, pretty much these days, iOS, PC and Mac are virtually the same machines. Yeah, just a little, with a little bit of a different way to interface but this is currently on sale for 38 bucks on your Mac or your PC. 
Uh, so you download it as a VST, it'll work on both, yeah? Either either. Let me give you a little bit of a rundown of what this thing is. So Gong Amp takes an exciting experimental amplifier from the beginnings of electronic music to a plug-in world of today. In 1932, Maurice Martinot, Martinot uh, was, was looking for a way to make his groundbreaking proto-synthesizer. Uh, and, and let's cut through it. This is an amplifier, but instead of having a cone in it, so this was made in the, in the early 30s, instead of placing a cone inside the, the center of the wooden uh, amp box, it has a gong to resonate the sound. And then later on, a company uh, picked this up. So a French company called EO Wave uh, picked up this whole concept from 1932. And uh, so this is in 2011, a French company, and they decided to make this actual thing. And, uh, it's, and they call it the Resonator Metallic. And they're really hard to get a hold of, an actual real life one. And this is how much they cost. Boom. <laughs> and they're always out of stock. They're always sold out. So as you can see there, it is a wooden cabinet like a speaker, but it has a gong inside to create the reverberations of a speaker. And you can see here, it's uh, this modern version of it actually is electronic. So it has a, a, a piece at the back here. So it can be hooked up like a speaker. So this has been amazingly remodeled by our amazing friend of the show, Heinbach, who if you didn't see my interview with Heinbach way back when in the first first or second season of the show, go and check it out. I interviewed him. Heinbach is one of the most creative uh, noise experimental artists in the world. And um, yeah, let's have a look. So um, I've got a video of Heinbach just showing a little bit of... The real thing, because what he's done is he's gone and taken, he actually got hold of one of these, he's taken it, and he sampled it, and it's incredible. So let me shoot you over here to this video, and let's hear a bit from Heinbach. Hi, I'm Heinbach, and it's good to have you back. What I have here with me is an instrument from the very beginnings of electronic music. It's the E-Wave Metallic Resonator Speaker, which is based on a design that was patented in 1932 by Martineau. It is an instrument amplifier, but instead of a speaker cone, it uses a gong. To me, it sounds absolutely beautiful. As you can hear, the resonance of this is long and beautiful and rich because it's a gong. But thanks to the exciter that it's built in the back, it is possible to use anything to trigger or excite this gong. Anyway, so I'm not going to put you through this whole video. Thank you, Thomas, for putting Heinbach's channel there because you really should go and subscribe to Heinbach. He is amazing. And he recently just donated all of his test equipment to a, an, a, an amazing place, a, a like a museum place that allows people to go in there and make uh, experimental music. He's just a, a super, super creative, inventive, and really kind human being. Um, 
very unique and he makes great music. Uh, test equipment, uh, uh, Tremor Bear. So he makes a lot of music using test equipment from like uh, the war and stuff, like radio stuff and hospital gear and machines that go ping and, and make really interesting noises. Um, but we're going to jump in and have a look at this app now. Uh, in answer to, uh, where are we? Let me scroll a little bit. Uh, so Sonic Vibe asked, when is BAM out? Oh, it's coming. It's in beta. So it's not too far away. So I, I don't know the exact date, but I'd, I'd, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything else. I just know it's going to be awesome. So, yeah, it, it's, it's not too far away. There you go. So BAM's going to be really cool when that comes out. Alrighty, let's jump in. I'm going to turn off my microphone and we're going to make some noise because I have, not only do I have instruments running through uh, this gong amp, Yes, and he has amazing sweaters. Absolutely, Thomas. But I have a guitar plugged in as well. Let me grab the guitar before we kick off this little sample of music, and then we'll get in and have a look at how everything works and all that stuff. Do I have a multiple camera set up? Yep, we've got, we've got cameras here. All righty. Now, all we've got to do is make sure we've got some volume.
Beautiful stuff. All right, let's uh, hit the stop and see how this ends. Uh, lovely stuff. So um, we've got uh, a selection of pedals here. Yes, Jim, there you're right. Well spotted. So there's a couple of Mooga Fugas in there, uh, but to every one of these sounds has a gong amp connected to them. So what are we using there? We're using uh, Spell Dosa. We got a uh, TGX 85. We got a King of Bass and also a Dagger synth. And the last one was just a guitar with, um, we've got a gong amp and we had our Tether. And of course, uh, Timeless from Fab Filter. That's a pretty, what do we, what do we have uh, for the Moogers? The Moogers, we had, um, the Cluster Flux, say that fast three times, and <laughs> the MF104S Analog Delay. So, But we're going to be looking at all eight of the Mooga Fugas tomorrow because they're incredible. All right, let's jump out of this project. I want to make sure it's saved because I like saving these projects. And uh, we'll open something else and we'll run through exactly what everything does. Where is this thing? Here it is. All right, so... Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I'm opening the same project again. I love it. Uh, we want gong drum demo. Cool. Well, that's nice. <laughs> Reload that. Uh, what did I have in here? So, oh, I've got the blue beast in here. That's why, because I just reinstalled it. So we're not looking at this today, but this is the blue beast and it's wonderful. I'm just going to go over and grab the sound I had in here. What was it? It was, uh, I can't remember. I think it was Spawn. <laughs> uh, let me check what sound it was. I think it was this one. I think it was that one. Yeah. And we'll make sure everything's connected. Make sure we're all good. See, my project's not even working. Here we go. Okay, so this can be used partially as an instrument and it can be used as, well, it's mainly as an effect. So when you open it up, here's, a, I'm going to open up a separate one here. Let's open up a separate one and we'll open an effect. So go for gong, amp, and let's just put in for, uh, we'll, we'll go with the TGX, see if we can find a bass sound just to kick off with, yeah? Um, so we'll make this large. We'll do a search for a bass sound. We've got BA. We'll connect this up to my keyboard. Like so. Okay. Let's find a nice, interesting bass sound. some running in the background do I have I got some running in the background yeah I do I've got that running in the background I knew it there we go so we've got a nice interesting little bass sound there and when we bring in gong amp
So you can hear what's going on. There's, there's a gong being struck at the same time. Let's show you how it all works. So not only can you um, hook it up as a as a uh, effect to play with whatever instrument you're using, you can just tap on the gong and you'll get different sounds wherever, depending where you tap it. So if we tap it out here on the speaker box, it's been beautifully, painstakingly um, recreated and sampled to be able to do this. All right, let's run through all of the options on here, what you can do with it. So of course we have a very similar setup to all of the audio thing uh, apps. Let's zoom in a little bit. So you've got your presets up the top here and you've got a nice selection of presets. There we go. So nice selection. They're all weird and wonderful and you can create your own, of course, in a, your own user bank. How do you create your own? You would hit save, give it a name, hit save, and that will appear in your user bank. So we can do this, demo, save. Now, when we click on our presets, we've got our factory and we've got our user presets that get stored here. So very easy to create your own, very easy to bin your own as well. So you can select and you can delete these as well. Delete a preset, nice and easy to go. You've got a randomization button. We'll cover that a little bit uh, later. Also, you have the uh, same thing as what's in all their apps. You have a lock system here. So you can actually decide if you'd like a bunch of settings, say like these ones. You can click on them and it'll put a little padlock next to them. So then when you hit randomize, none of these settings will change. So you can make sure they're nice and locked. You can unlock them by clicking on them again. So you might if you do some randomization or you might want to, you know, uh, keep some settings, keep like these settings down, all these settings down here, but change the ones up here so you can do all that as well. You have your settings, a little hamburger up the top here. So you can change uh, the, the tail block size of, so basically this is, if we change this out, this is uh, virtually your, uh, what I would call your, your, uh, What's the, what's the word I'm trying to think of? I can't really think of. We'll go with 1024. What you would see up here in your settings. Why am I having a brain mount? Your uh, your uh, uh, but, but your buffer size, essentially. That's the word I'm trying to look for. Your buffer size. So you can do that as well. Uh, you can turn off the case sound. So now when I tap on the case, I'm not getting any sound. Right? So So when I tap on this, nothing. So you can turn that off if you find that annoying. Let's uh, put the case sound back on. Yeah, the, the buffer choice is really handy because if you've got hundreds of these running and you've only got an iPad or iPhone that uh, you know, can't handle, doesn't have a lot of RAM, then you're saving on RAM and all that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, you can lock all the parameters from here. You can unlock all the parameters. You can copy presets, copy them, and then paste them. The online manual is here as well. All you do is click on it, takes you to their website. It's really easy to understand, not hard at all. Everything's written nice big letters, nice big pictures. You can't get too lost at all if you are going by that. You can save that as a PDF once you've uh, shot yourself over there. All right, so we've got our gong. Yeah, but what Heinbach has ingeniously done and added to this is added the addition of some chains. So you'll see when I click on the chains above, it adds these chains across. And you get the effect of chains. If I... And you can turn those off and you can add some different chains. Let's make this a little bit higher. But also what uh, has been added to this is the ability to, now this is very unique, 
is to stuff a pillow inside because if you're using very um, fast notes, a lot of MIDI notes all quickly together, and you've got all that resonation from the gong happening, you're going to get a lot of mud. So this gives you the power to still keep that, that, that gong sound in there, that resonance, but to just stifle a little bit. Cool, huh? So we'll take that pillow and you'll hear the difference. <laughs> Wicked. Also, we have so we have our performance uh, tab over here to the right, and this is where you can really change the dynamics of uh, your the, the, the resonance and the dynamics because if you're, if you're playing something that's really low, you know, you've got a really low resonating bass or something in there. You might want to make sure the dynamic up here is set to high because if you've got it set to low over here, Take off the chains. Man, how cool is that? Or if you've got something really high and jangly, you might want to add the dynamics to a lower to, you know, uh, and basically this changes the internal gain setting. So it's a, a low gain setting or a high gain setting. Then we've got our pitch over here to the to the left of that, uh, to the right of that, sorry. And uh, this changes the pitch of the gong emulation. So let me show you. Let's, it's on high at the moment. Let's move it to off. Let's move it to low. Let's move it back to high. So you can see if you're using a lot of low notes on your keyboard, you might want to bring that pitch up of the gong a little bit higher, switch it to high so it's actually cutting through, or you're going to get it uh, at some really crazy low resonating noise that could melt your brain. And melting your brain's not a bad thing. We've also got a, a, a little... Uh, knob here for modulation. Now this adds modulation to the wet signal. So you can kind of hear it faintly gonging off in the background, yeah? To Really, it's not it's not over the top modulation like what you'd expect, like you know, getting a bubble 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 bubble. Hi Zach, have I missed anyone in the chat? If I have missed you in the chat and you've come in, I do apologize. I get lost in these apps, you know what I'm saying? You've also got a howl knob over here. So this little on-off switch. So the howl knob enables additional movement to the gong when it's overloaded with sound. Let's put it on. So he had added that scraping sound in there and I didn't do anything different. I just hit the same note. We'll turn it off. Now we'll turn on the howl again. Hey, Ed Zielinski, what's going on? Good to see you, my friend. Right, so really interesting, really fascinating stuff. So also, let's skip down. We'll, we'll skip the trip 
and we'll come back to the trip. So down the bottom, we've got a we've got these sections here. I'm going to turn them all off. Let's just turn them all off. And we've just got our plain sound, yeah? So you've got a couple of ways to turn off the gong. You can turn it off up here, and that'll turn it off. Or you can just turn off these individual sections down here. Now, these are your mixers, all right? So you've got a few of them. You've got a drive mixer, and I guess you, you'll know what that is. It's an overdrive. It's a drive, so it's not going to really do much unless we have one of our, either of our mics happening. So you've got a mono mic here and you've got a stereo microphone. So a mono source and a stereo source. Let's put on the, the mono source. And now we'll add some drive. Now you hear it. Now you should, can you hear that modulation happening? It's like very exciting stuff. So you've also got a stereo microphone that you can add to this as well. So we'll turn off the mono. I don't know if it asks, if you open it as a standalone gym, any app's going to ask, if it's a sound app, it's going to ask for your microphone. Any uh, music app will do that in standalone mode. But when you open it as an AUV3, you're opening it in a, in a door like AUM or Logic. So it's not going to ask you for that because you are essentially using a door. So a much wider stereo sound. Now remember, I can also play it and hit the gong while I'm holding down notes. So you can really create some really interesting experimental stuff, uh, which is super, super duper cool. Hello, Michael, Lanthia. Hope you're doing okay. So our last button on the list here is our resonate button. And let's uh, let you hear that. <laughs> I'm going to turn off the modulation and the howl. Let's bring this down a bit. My ears didn't like that. I forgot <laughs> I didn't have the soft clip on. <laughs> Whoops. Sorry, guys. Well, it's not a gong. It's not a gong, Robbie. It's not a gong. This is an amplifier. So this is uh, uh, it's a completely different thing. Let's add some more chains to it.
So you can see the resonator really gets some crazy resonating stuff happening there. And you can have all three of these on. Also, you can take out the entire dry mix. So we currently have the wet mix running, so the actual gong amplify sound, and we can take out the original bass sound. Fantastic for creating horror stuff, experimental noise. I mean, it's just... But it gets crazier because, of course, it does because it's audio <laughs> it's audio thing and it's Heinbach, so you can take things to the next level because... Uh, so, yeah, you have a, a soft clip here that you can turn on and off to keep it under control. So it's like a soft limiter. Just to keep the, the because you've got a lot of, lot of resonance going on here and you might want to reel that in. It's a good idea too. If you might want to use a, it depends what you're running through it, uh, run a, a, a limiter as well. Hello, Abe, the band. Let's talk about the, the trip. <laughs> so we've got our little trip section up here and you can turn this on and look what happens. All the knobs down in the mixer section start animating. And you can control these as well. So you've got just underneath here, you've got our speed and spread, and they represent the speed controls the speed of the trip modulation. So the speed of these, you'll notice if we turn this on now here, I'll just show you a full screen. So you've got to turn this little sucker on. We can turn up the speed and look at them all go. <laughs> And next to that, we have the spread, which adjusts the rhythmic shift. So we'll pull that down. So it changes everything that's down here, the rhythm between the three of them, yeah? Let's put this howl back on. Give it some drive. What happens when we add the pillow?
crazy good stuff. So, of course, you can put this through any instrument you want. You can put this through a microphone. You can put it through a guitar. You can put it through any synthesizer. You can put it through drums. Let's hear it through some drums. Now we've added in the Zoa with this sound we just made. We'll put in some guitar next. We'll just use a MIDI guitar. We've already had a bit of a play on the real guitar. And I'm using Euclidean just to generate some stuff as well. And of course, we're using the new Blue Beast from Gospel Musicians, which I'll be reviewing next week. Let's add some guitar in here. I'm going to use the uh, Piano Tech guitar. And we'll run through some presets. Super chat, that's super, super kind of you. Thank you. Let's get a sound with this. Let's bring in the gong amp. Slow it down a bit. bring in that's a little bit strange should we bring in something else by audio thing like noises Thank you, Robbie. You rock. And don't forget, folks, Robbie's our featured artist today. We're going to feature some gong. 
Let's go through some presets with this weird sound. So we've got some noise happening here. Now we got this warble. my audio thing apps we'll bring in another noises maybe we'll do something else Listen to the resonance it just added to that. So essentially, you can use this as a reverb as well. Okay, let's add Dagger in here. We'll connect this up to Zoa as well. We'll send this uh, from Zoa um, to Dagger and turn on Zoa. So we've got track three of Zoa. Let's bring it down. Now, let's get crazy with Zoa, uh, with Dagger. Give it a bit of volume now. Here we go. Beautiful. Add a stereo mic. We'll add some resonance. Filthy. We want to match this to the tempo.
Disgusting! I wonder what it sounds like on vocals. Should we go there? Well, of course we should. <laughs> That's what we're here to do. got some vocals hello hello let's uh bring in our gong amp i haven't done this yet hey. oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Let's uh, connect this up. Finally, uh, we'll regenerate this. Turn off auto advance. Did I select the right place there? Uh, the outputs uh, to spell dosa. Why am I not getting anything from spell dosa? Let's, uh, did I solo it? Yes. So the perfect place to run through all the presets for you right now is with this lovely sound. Okay. So we'll add in a uh, gong amp and then we'll run, run through all these presets and then we'll get out of here. Here you can find the presets. Wow. Really beautiful for distant soundscapey stuff. Gonna get, get, it always gets a bit crazy towards the lower half of the presets. <laughs> you ready? Surprisingly, this is one of my favorites. Notice how it sounds. If you've got headphones on, it sounds like it's at the back of your head. Let's turn off the effect. It actually sounds lit. It, it feels like it's literally behind your head. That's amazing. I like this one as well, The Witch. And finally, we've got Warp Chords. Also, you've got a randomization button. So you can pretty much Hit the random dice up the top and you're just going to get whatever's given to you.
which is a great way to find something interesting. Let's slow this down a little bit. We'll go to a quarter. Let's bring it back into the whole mix. Wow. Yeah, Thomas, you're going to break out some of the old faves here and there. <laughs> I mean, I've got so many apps to choose from, it's ridiculous. Too many apps and too many brain meltdowns uh, looking at them all. So there you have it. This is the Gong app. It is beautiful. It is a, a, a thing of absolute sheer beauty. I love it. It's Heinbach. It's weird. It's strange. And I, You know how I feel about weird and strange apps. You can do some really cool stuff with Lamb indeed. It is $9.99 currently. It will go up at the door. When did I say it was going to go up? Sometime uh, the 23rd or something like that. Shall we check just to make sure before we get out of here for the day and play our featured artist? So $9.99 USD. It goes up on the 25th of August to $15.99. So if you're going to get it, get it while it's cheap. I did not know I needed this, says Mars Capone. If you are a Patreon, we have one copy to give away on the Patreon this weekend, so you can become a Patreon. Uh, if you're interested in trying to win apps on the Patreon, it's $5 and above. Um, or, but if you just want to get your music mastered on, on my Patreon channel, you can join up for a dollar and um, I'll master your music. Each weekend we have a Patreon show where live on the show I mix uh, not mix, I master people's music that they send in to me live on the show and we do some app giveaways. So normally what you see on the here here on the channel is what we're giving away, yeah? So it's pretty cool stuff. Um, all right, that's that for the day. Tomorrow, my friends, we are taking a look. Finally, finally, The Rock has come back. And I'm showing my age. But tomorrow we are looking at, you won't want to miss this. The Moog Foga effects bundle. We're taking a look at it finally, man. And this thing is sick. It is eight individual apps in a bundle. Um, Moog make just some of the most incredible hardware. This is seven hardware pedals converted into apps and one extra software uh, pedal that has been made specifically for this selection of tools. They're incredible. You can actually chain link them all together and make them LFO into another one and LFO into themselves. And it is, 
It's going to be crazy tomorrow. That's why I held off doing the show until tomorrow because I really want to create a sick project for you to see at the start of the show with everything controlling each other. It, they're really cool. They're on sale at the moment, the, the Moog Fogas for uh, the Moga Fogas. Say it right. Moga Foga. Moga Foga. Moga Foga. For uh, $39 uh, for the all eight of them, or they're $10 each. So it's definitely worthwhile to get them all right now. They're going to go up to like $70, $79. they are really, really incredible. I can't wait to do this tomorrow. Um, uh, what else is happening? Um, I think, and then we, we've got, uh, we're doing this too. So uh, you won't want to miss this. We're doing the Terra Pro in our purchase of the FM7 module. It's wicked. And we're interviewing on the on the channel this week. I don't have the flyer up. I've got all the info. I'm going to put set the flyer up, the uh, banner and everything uh, today, as well as the Wart Warriors quiz. So if you missed that at the start, the quiz is happening for all Wart Warriors on the 27th of August. Yeah. So the 27th of August, there will be a, a post go up in the community members section here on the channel. So keep your eyes open for it how to join the quiz, how to play a part. It's going to be cool. Me and Brad are hosting the quiz because Russ is in the US. So it's me and Brad this time you're going to get. It's going to be fun. And yes, uh, on the channel we have uh, coming up this uh, for the an interview, we have the amazing, the awesome, sick uh, YouTube music creation artist and a software designer, uh, Moby Pixel is coming on the show. So really, I'm super excited. Moby Pixel is coming on the show live. We're going to talk about his uh, development, about uh, his YouTube channel, about the music that he creates. This guy is fucking super, super talented. And I can't wait to have him on the show on Thursday. It's going to be very excited. Sponsored by DistroKid. Cool bananas, yeah? All right. Let's play our featured artist. We've sat here and played with our gong amp. And now it's time for the king of gongs, <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend, the one and only Robbie Stingle. And I've had to cho choose a gong, one that's not too long because I've got to get out of here for the So we've got, um, we've got Robbie playing a, a gong, a paste 30 inch symphonic gong. And <laughs> he's a legend. He is the man, and then throw his, there's, he's got emojis in the chat, so put them in the chat. I'll automatically dump you over to Pete Johns, who's starting in 45 minutes with GarageBand Weekly. Yeah. And uh, let's bounce over here. This is Robbie Stingle. Whoops, I've still got music playing. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Chaos here. Chaos here. On demo one. All right. We want to make sure everything's good. The man. The myth, the legend, with a million gongs, he is the gong king, he is, bang, <laughs> Robbie Stingle. Do the things that make you happy, folks. Mistakes make you better, and I'll see you tomorrow, because we'll all rise together. Let's do it. Robbie Stingle.
We'll all rise together Cause you make me shine better And we'll all rise together You make me shine better